Hey guys, it's Cardfan101 here, and welcome back to another video. Today's video, I'm going to be doing something a little different from my usual Minecraft things. So, I'm going to be doing taking a look at the Nintendo um, NFC Reader. So, here it is, NFC Reader. Um, so, if you guys don't know what this is for, this is for their... Nintendo's Amiibo line. So Amiibos are like their figures. It's kind of like Nintendo's take on to Skylanders or like um, Disney Affinities kind of figures. It's it's I don't want to say they're the same, but it's like same kind of toys to life kind of idea. So yeah, that's basically Nintendo's Amiibos. Um, and yeah, so this is this is kind of like a portal, like kind of like sorry that's. If you guys know it's Crossy Road. But anyway, sorry guys. Um, but that's pretty much like this is kinda like the portal for if like guys played Skylanders. If you played Skylanders game, they have the portals which you put the fingers on or figures on and then for Disney Affinity you have their portal thing too. <clears throat> so this is basically Nintendo's version of it. Um but this is you don't have to take get this if you have a dis if you have one of the new Nintendo 3DSs or Wii U's they already have the the like this kind of portal software built into the device so you don't need this but this is mostly for um, the Nintendo 3DS XL old one the Nintendo 3DS and the Nintendo 2DS that was made before Amiibo was even created so. They Nintendo had a a good idea of making these like these portals and the C readers for the for the people who have the old devices and don't want to buy a new one. So that's from in my opinion that's a good call on Nintendo because um, not only because well I mean it's that would make a lot of, if they didn't have this that would make a lot of people or more people buy the new 3ds's. But then again, not a lot of people have that type of money, um, so many of them might just like not buy um, the new 3DS and not even go into Amiibos because they can't play with Amiibos. So they thought of a good idea and putting, uh, making this NFC reader, uh, which is only 20 bucks, and you can use it on your old devices and play with the Amiibos. So I think, from in my opinion, it was a good call on Nintendo's part. But anyway, yeah, so it's $20. I got this at GameStop. Um, it's $20. I think I've seen it at Target $20 at Twizzlers and Walmart. I, I don't think I've seen this, but I've seen it at Target and um, GameStop. So you should check there. You can also buy it online. But anyways, now I use your Nintendo 3DS, blah, 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 all those stuff at the bottom. Um, so inside, I already took it out uh, and tried tested with it. Um, you get your... You get a your instructions manual, and then you get you get the fig the cover or like the bag it came in. What it's called, and then that's pretty much what you get. Oh yeah, you also get it also includes batteries, so that's pretty cool. Um, why I found cool about the batteries was that it was actually like I don't like um I don't know the symbol of Japanese batteries. I believe Chinese I don't, I'm not sure but like Japanese kind of batteries so they're not American batteries because they have like that on it but anyways came with two of those so pretty cool I didn't have to go out and buy new batteries um, and yeah so well let's go into how this looks like so yeah basically you have the battery compartment in the back and it's not this like you where you have to screw it and then unscrew it when you want to um, change the battery, so I really like the snap. Like, it's very easy to um, remove the batteries, and you don't have to have a screwdriver with you when you do it. Made in China, the Chun 3DS, and yeah. Um, and then it's pretty simple. It's it's round. It's not that big. It's, it's the size of my palm, and I mean I pr have pretty small palms, so it's 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 not that big. Um, and you have all around you have pretty much blank except uh in the front you have your sensor um and then light indication and then your power button 
Um, and then on top you have the Amiibo or NFC kind of logo thing. If you guys can see that, that's that's on the Wii U and the Nintendo 3DS. If you see that symbol, so that means it's for the Amiibos or the Nintendo NFC things. Um, and yeah, so you could press the power button and a blue light comes on. And that blue light, I think it's like I forgot the timing but I think it shuts out after a while so it saves your battery for you and yeah you guys should just press the power button again to turn it off so that's a function that's pretty cool um but anyway that's how the NFC reader looks like and how it works um <clears throat> well not how it works because I'm not actually going to show you guys it in action but um, if you guys can trust my word, it works pretty well. Um, the only downside I think I would have with this is that when you're traveling around and you want to use your Amiibo, Amiibos, which, but you only have your 3DS, it's, um, and you want to use your Amiibos, you're going to have to carry this along with you. Unlike um, if you have the new Nintendo 3DS, then you could just bring your Nintendo 3DS and then your Amiibos or whatever, how many Amiibos you want to bring, and you don't have to have this brought along too so you could just put it on your Nintendo 3DS but this if you have the old Nintendo 3DS's and 2DS's then you're gonna have to bring this in if you if you want to use them you will. so that's my review on this reader um, NFC Nintendo 3DS MS, NFC reader Amiibo reader um, if you guys have any questions um, you could put them down below and I'll try my best to answer them but anyways, with that, I uh, hope you guys liked the video, and don't forget to subscribe, rate, like, and comment, and thanks for watching, guys. Bye.